move towards this vector or called cross product what does it mean so we can have this two vector and as the multiplication sign you can add here it's called cross okay this is we call cross things now we can cross it what will it produce the cross product will always produce this vector and to find the magnitude of it one can also say that yeah this is the guy a vector b vector but now these two things will depend with this sine theta so if i am having this a vector and this b vector okay if they are having this angle theta so this the this is the way to find out the angle or to find out the magnitude of between two things okay now again similar thing similar situation here we will produce that for an example if we have two vectors x dot x cross x set it will always give you zero because of this fact these two are in same and sine theta will be theta will be zero so sine zero is zero so any two vectors which are same the cross product will give you zero uh, similarly y cross y hat is going to give you zero and z cross z hat will again gives you zero if we are talking about in three dimensional space the same vector in cross product will give you zero move towards uh, some cross term for an example what will happen to x cross y what it will give now you see x cross y okay is x cross y it's 90 degree they are 90 degree so i know this is uh, maybe it will give you this x hat y hat and sine 90 so this is completely one well is it one uh -huh. because uh, i have already told you that yeah now if you take this guy here because you have to remember it x hat cross y hat one produce one because this is the vector and this is a scalar one is a scalar quantity so it cannot be equivalent so i have told you this is the same thing here this is the def definition so one can trick here that x hat cross y hat gives you one no the magnitude of x hat cross y hat can give you one okay so what else one can do here then one can say that i cannot do this thing so what what do uh, what is the meaning of this thing the meaning is that you have this x hat and this is your y hat so it is similar to that you are doing rotation and taking this x towards y similarly similar thing is that if you have this palm you have this vector this is the vector and you are taking towards it so this is your palm this is your uh, thumb here taking x to y this way you are making it an anti-clockwise direction so the uh, thumb will gives you the resultant vector and i know resultant vector is towards you okay so it's z axis z hat so the vector thing the vector thing has deeper meaning in rotations so it involves in the rotation that how you are rotating two axes or two planes what kind of uh, things takes place and then this uh, it will show this complicated nature of it so x cross y because we are having this only uh, one dimension here one dimension here, it will give you two dimension uh, another dimension similarly y cross z so y cross z will be nothing but so here is a y and z again you are uh, going for counterclockwise so this is your x hat and what else uh, z cross x hat will produce you y hat okay they are mostly perpendicular to it and how you are rotating something so to take this rotation you have to move towards what is your z hat maybe z hat is towards you okay and your x x hat is uh, like this so maybe it will produce uh, yeah so yeah obviously so z hat is your this way and x is my this one okay so if i am rotating this here so the thumb will di direct it towards y axis so this is your y axis so it is the way of uh, doing it but uh, we prefer it that uh, this a vector cross b vector has deeper meaning with rotation that how you rotate thing up the rotation in uh, one dimension or two dimensions is very simple you can see here the dimension wise dimension but if we rotate a plane for an example x hat y hat cross y hat plus uh, x hat then things will be complicated so uh, it's not simply thing that yeah you have this thumb and so on but 
has a real meaning what is the meaning of this vector so vector product is always go with some rotations so to uh, remember this thing i have a very uh, greatest uh, very uh, nice trick not the greatest <laughs> i'm kidding because everyone knows what is this you make a cycle here and this is goes your x this is goes your maybe sorry not counterclockwise i'm making let's make it clockwise okay so x y and z you can also make this uh, in counterclockwise so if you follow the cycle hmm, you will go this way this way so x y z so x and y gives you this z y z will give you x and z x will give you y and if you move this way maybe x z x hat cross z hat will produce you minus of y hat okay because thumb will go this way or that way and similarly z cross y hat will produce you x hat and then similarly y hat cross x hat will produce you minus of z hat so this is the way we have to follow the cycle and you will good to go okay now uh, to to see it here similarly ax x hat plus a y y hat cross b x x hat plus b y y hat now we know that this uh, term won't survive because they are in same direction therefore we have to define this uh, other way so a x b y x hat now important thing is order okay and similarly a y b y a y b y and y hat cross x hat so these guys will be a x b y x hat cross y hat will produce to z hat plus a y b y order is changed therefore it will be minus so you see that if i am changing the order a cross b is not similar to b cross a a simple thing is that if you have this cork and if you are rotating it counterclockwise it will always go upside now if you are making this clockwise rotation the cork will go inside and the bottle will be closed so that's why the rotation is very important and the rotation goes with this vector quantity where will be the resultant thing therefore that's why it is not commutative the vector product is not isn't commutative so it will always go with this guy here ax by minus by ay with z axis okay so this will depend on this magnitude and whatever the magnitude the resultant will be your c vector you see here is your magnitude and this is z hat this makes c as a vector and we have already seen how to find out this uh, uh what you call um, magnitude okay so we have seen this what is your c now uh, we have this uh, we have uh, done this product in a uh, two dimension but three dimension is a bit complicated so to find out the three dimension in three dimension 3d how you can find it out you take these two boxes two lines right down here x hat y hat and z hat for a thing see so if you are multiplying this a cross b then a thing will go here so a component may be ax ay az and then again b thing will go here so it will be bx by and pz so to find your x hat so you write here x hat and then you do the operation you just omit these two guys here just cancel to these guys and do the multiplication over here the cross multiplication so it will nothing but a y b z minus b y a z okay so whatever you are choosing this thing the hide this uh, below things and the correspondence things and then you are good to go similarly now this comes with a negative sign one thing you have to remember it minus of y hat and y hat again hide this thing and this way so y hat will be nothing but ax bz minus of bx az so this is uh, something trickier because whatever you are choosing the first is positive sign second one is with the negative sign and third one again with positive sign so z hat again just hide this one and this one and you will have this ax by minus bx ay 
दिस इज योर सी वैक्टर इन थ्री डायमेंशनल स्पेस दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल थिंग एंड इट इज कॉल्ड एज डिटर्मिनेंट प्रोडक्ट एंड सो ऑन वेल Uh, we have covered this part here. So we have seen the cross product, dot product, and let's uh, analyze some kind of uh, another thing called magnitude of two vectors if they are not align each other. Yeah. So any questions so far? If you have any questions, give write in your comment box. and let's move towards the magnitude of two vectors what is the mean of it we have seen the magnitude of two vectors but yeah something is different something is fishy going on what is this if i am having this a vector and b vector i cannot do this dot product and cos product and they are simply having some angle of it maybe a vector this guy b vector this guy and having this theta one can use the law parallelogram i'm not going much in details so what is the flavor of this parallelogram the parallelogram is simply the idea is if you have this vector here this vector here uh, trace out uh, just uh, parallel to this guy and parallel to this guy like here and the resultant vector will be right here so two vector will have this resultant quantity a resultant vector which will follow again i have told you this triangle law okay so triangle law will say you this this guy is your b vector and this guy is your a vector because parallel to this one so resultant will be your a plus b now if a vector and b vector is having some angle theta how one can find your resultant the magnitude of resultant vector will depend on a squared i'm taking it as a magnitude b square and then 2 of a vector b vector cos of theta so i don't care about the sign of this kind of thing whatever the sign will goes it will depend on this angle because you know cos gives you the positive thing in the first quadrant means 0 to pi by 2 it gives you this negative uh, quantity pi by 2 to pi and so on okay so uh, the angle because i have already told you that if you have positive this side and if some vector is negative then it will go this way or maybe this side or this side okay so uh, it will change or it will change like it and uh, you will have this uh, pretty awesome thing how to find out uh sorry 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 this a dot b not uh, a b cos theta so a dot b you know a b cos theta and so on so you can find out what is the resultant of this vector now uh, uh i am giving you some uh, uh, some nice uh, results like here example is if you have two vectors in space this one and this one so resultant vector would be for it will lie this uh, here also here so two vectors are there then resultant vector will be this side okay or maybe it happens that to uh, what else uh, one vector is here another vector is here then resultant will be this side okay this is the way we can uh, handle this uh, resultant vector and one can also find out what is the angle of it uh, what is the angle it will make uh, this resultant vector going a little bit faster why because these are very uh, simple stuff yeah uh, so if i am having this two vectors a vector and b vector having angle theta so the resultant will be somewhere else here now if you want to find at which orientation will be uh, this r vector what will be the orientation of r vector so and let's suppose that 0 to a the magnitude of uh, this vector is your a and magnitude of this vector will be b so this uh, angle tan alpha the the orientation of this resultant vector can be given by b of sin theta over b is magnitude of 0 b a plus b of cos theta so if the angle is for an example theta is your 90 degrees so a vector and b vector are parallel just like x hat and y hat so the angle tan alpha gives you b because sin 90 is 1 and over a so b over a whatever the magnitude uh, is this so it will say you that y hat over x hat the components of y hat over x hat therefore one can also say that if i am having some resultant vector ax x hat plus ay y hat and if you want to find what is the angle